Welcome to Carl's Kitchen Window for Christmas 2014. Actually, we start from the dining room window today. On Christmas Eve, it rained almost all day, was overcast and dark. I looked out the front to see if any bird was on the suet cake over the driveway and spotted a pileated woodpecker fly to a tall tree in that direction. You can see the occasional drop of water and numerous wood chips flying as the woodpecker searches for carpenter ants. My Sony camcorder has a long zoom and I had it almost all the way out. The next day, Christmas Day, the weather was mostly sunny and bright. A really good day and time for taking pictures. About 11 a.m., a pileated woodpecker came to one of the large suet feeders in the backyard, seen out my kitchen window. I started the camcorder going, and Martha said she saw a second pileated. It landed on a tree behind the feeder as I was videoing, and then moved over to the second large suet feeder. I was unable to get both birds in the same shot, and only succeeded in wasting some video by zooming out too late to frame both birds at the same time. It happened too quickly to, term, to determine gender, but I would think they were probably a mated pair or two siblings. Palliated woodpeckers and most woodpeckers are not big on sharing food sources. Of course, we never saw the second woodpecker attempt to feed at the same feeder at the same time as the first one. But we have only, on, only seen one occasion of two potted woodpeckers at the same time, which were not parents feeding a fledgling. That time resulted in what we assumed was a territory dispute or dance. The video is here on YouTube. Just before dark on Christmas Day, a different male pileated woodpecker came to the large suet feeder outside my kitchen window. It was a little dark, but not nearly as dismal as the footage at the beginning of this video. We have noticed personality differences between some of the birds as well. At least one woodpecker is a very dainty eater, fastidiously picking up all the small crumbs before pecking gently at the cake. Another one really seemed confused about how to land on the suet feeder. We observed these birds flying back and forth between the trees behind the feeders. When on the tree from which the feeder is suspended, the bird can't see the suet. This woodpecker flew back and forth between the two trees with the large suet feeders and finally flew down to close to the ground where I have two small suet cakes in a double feeder. I think it was the same bird as the one in the full daylight today. He finally landed on the back of the feeder and worked his way around to the front. Martha and I are very happy that we're able to help these birds make it through the Northern Virginia winter and they are so much fun to watch. 